Good day, traders. My name's Ryan Littlestone from ForexFlow.live. Uh, into another hectic week, it seems, after a pretty uh, busy end of month period that we had last week. Uh, lots of action into the closing fixes uh, the last sort of three days of the month, uh, the week last week. And now what we're seeing is, is markets pretty much laying out how they're going to go on from there. What we can see at these end of month periods is, is a little bit of, of masking of what the underlying factors are. So, for example, we, we've seen, you know, the pound was rallying, uh, the euro was rallying, the Aussie was rallying all into this end of month period. That's dissipated now and we're getting back to, to the market pricing, what it wants to see next from things to do with the virus and so on. Now, one of the pairs I've been looking at recently is Euro Sterling, and I've got the four hour chart here to show you uh, again, something we've been looking at before. And these big levels we got down at this 87 handle, um, I'm short, I've been short from uh, 94 above. And this 87 is, is really becoming a thorn in my side. Um, we've had periods where it's, it's broken, but it hasn't held the break. Uh, we've seen these lows, as you can see from the chart there, down to sort of 75s, 80s. But it's not held below this number. Now, again, we're seeing another rally up, uh, up to the 88 mark, um, again, which is a, a level in between this range that we've got here, marked by the red lines on the chart there. Higher up, we get into this, this bigger area, around about 88, 60s, 70s. And so really a lot of indecision at the moment here. Um, for my purposes, uh, for my shorts, on when we came back down to the 87, just a little bit more off the table. Um, I'm happy to sit in this trade, but it really is a, a game of, of sitting here and watching what's going to happen between these two levels. Um, but this 87 area is, is becoming a, a real solid level at the moment, and uh, that's something to keep an eye on moving forward. Now, what else has been going on uh, in the markets? As I said, you know, coming into the new month, new themes, markets looking at, at forward things that, that's going to be happening pretty much all surrounding this virus situation. And what we're looking for now is how countries and economies start opening up again. You know, we're seeing a lot of Europe you know, edging towards uh, reducing lockdowns, uh, reducing restrictions. You know, Germany, Spain, Italy, even the UK is getting into it as well now. And this is going to be a, a tense period because, you know, we want to back to normal. But if we start seeing spikes in cases and countries having to revert back to lockdowns, then that's going to be a, a pretty big dent to confidence. But then, you know, <laughs> on top of that, we've now got this new US-China uh, uh, war, if you like, uh, coming together, the war of words uh, surrounding the virus. You know, Trump's been pretty rampant uh, in his comments about, you know, maybe slamming more tariffs onto China. So the old trade war factors come in. Um, so one pair that I've been looking at uh, recently is the Aussie dollar. Um, if we look at the chart on this one, you can see that uh, after the big volatile lows, you know, it's been on a steady rise pretty much non-stop. That's because there's been little cases in Australia, really, and, you know, they seem to have it under control. And so perhaps this is one of the economies that is going to get back uh, improving faster. But you throw the China situation in, the US-China situation in, that all blowing up again. So we've seen, again, we saw the month-end run up into the 65s, uh, looking very, very strong. I was itching to get long. I, I went long into a dip at 65 let some out uh, around about 65.50 and then got done on a stop uh, down at 64.30. So it's back in, uh, back in the mix at the moment, bit of uncertainty here. I'm still looking at a dip, but uh, you know, if, if it carries on like this, then this is another pair to watch closely and, and we monitor the charts. As always, I wish you good luck this week and uh, speak to you soon.